uh, uh, the, the prelims to a very important scrimmage for us tomorrow. I and mean, we've got a day here that, uh, um, if you say they're bubble guys, and they're not, that probably doesn't accurately describe it, but there's some guys that, that uh, we, we need to choose between who's going to get the most reps tomorrow with which groups uh, in that scrimmage. And we just, we need, uh, we need to have an intense 20 or 30 minutes at the end of practice here for uh, some of these guys that we've seen, hadn't seen a lot of to really uh, give us the information we need that they, that, that they have an opportunity to get ready to get on the bus and go to, actually in this case, get on the plane to go to Arkansas. So, uh, important day for us to evaluate and move forward. Uh, Cody, even though he's still going through an orientation process, he's, uh, we're not going to hit him. Uh, not even gonna get around hitting him, but uh, he's gonna he's gonna get involved today, and uh, you know that that brings some excitement. To be honest with you, Cody's a he's a personality to go along with being a talent, and I think he gets other players excited. Uh, he and Quez are really working uh, well together. Quez, our starting quarterback, it's a little bit of an unusual situation, but that's the one we find ourselves with. I mean. Cody's a conference championship quarterback. That was his team. And so uh, he's, he's going to be highly involved in getting ready to play and play. He focused on possession, you know, doing the things to put seven plays together. You know, it's going to be a, a field position and obviously it'll dictate, you know, exactly what maybe points are capable of being scored. The shorter the field, the better your opportunities. The longer the field, the better defense you can play. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're not going to focus as much on that. We're going to make sure we get a good exposure to the kicking game. But after that, I'd, I'd say uh, the offensive challenge is to keep it for seven plays. The defensive challenge is to keep them under seven plays. And on the basis of that, we'll break it down individually into the guys that make that happen.